So this video is to start your CSS section. This usually confuses everyone, so I wanted to record a video to go with it. Remember, on your rubric, it says that you're going to start your CSS to make your website look pretty. Ms. Watts is not telling you what colors and where you have to show me these skills in your website. It's just that you have to show me these skills. So the CSS on my rubric starts on step 14 and asks me to make selectors for each of the HTML tags that I created. And the selector is the item out here that matches up with my HTML tag. So I will have 11 selectors. You make 10 tags what's in your website. So when you go through your rubric and you look at your index, you made 10 different tags on the rubric. Now, these are not the tags you made. These are just tags I made. So if I was doing my website, I created the H1, the H2, the H3, the H6, and the P. And the body tag was already there. So I would have one, two, three, four, five, six selectors that I could make in my style section. So I'd come over here and make one for the H1. I'd make a selector for the H2. I'd make a selector for the H3. Okay, oop, putting them all in separate sections. Okay, oop, let me go back, H3. Right, everyone has an open and a close, H3, the right colors. I think I had an H4, open, close. Okay, so on and so forth. So if I made them for all mine, we said I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, six different ones. It was an H6 and not an H4. So H6, we had the P. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and the body, six. There's my six selectors. You are going to have 11. The 10 tags that Ms. Watts had you create in the rubric, so you can go back through that rubric, what I would do, and this is the digital rubric because I'm online. I'm going to go to the digital copy. You have a copy in front of you. And I'm going to go through it and say, what selectors do I need to make based on the tags Ms. Watts had me create? Here was one tag, two tags three tag, four tag, five tag. So I go through plus body and you'll have a total of 11 once you get done with that. And they will look like this, like selectors, not like tags. And then I will go through steps 15 through 26, adding properties and values to my selectors. Remember, you do not type do not type above that line where Ms. Watts gave you code. So your code probably ends on about line 9 or 10. Do not start coding until after the start code with your first selector. And remember to show me the skills that are in 15 through 26. And I go over those in the slideshow. So if you're like, well, what skills do you want to see and how do I do them? Remember, in the slideshow, I cover all that stuff. So if we look through slides 15, where's 15, 12, 13, 14, 15, once I say through the letters and properties and values, repeats that. Now you're going to show me your skills. First, you're showing different colors. Uh, remember, you need a property and a value. So you can't just yell blue at your computer. You have to tell me what you want to be blue on your website. So that was like we talked about. What do I want? I'm turning the color of my H1 magenta. Um, so make sure property value, property value, property value. Um, you can refer back to this slide. I always need a selector, a property, and a value. Selector, property, value for every single tag. And you can see some of that stuff, properties, for text that you have to show me, decorative properties, remember properties and values, and it gives you examples of different things. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, but this is your CSS tutorial.